We tend to decorate the spaces that we spend the most time in. So what about children in childcare? How can we make those places uniquely theirs? One way is through our art displays. Welcome to this week's tidbit. This week we're talking about displaying children's art and we're gonna give you some ideas for that. So here we go. Displaying children's art is such an important part of a classroom environment or a family home environment. It, um, it makes children feel like and know that you value their expression, their art expression, and that you value them. The message is in that is that you value them. When put up in an intentional way with much care, children will notice. Children will take pride in their work. And it shows that kids are part of that community. They, they are part of that community, that learning community. Another great, great benefit of displaying art, it gives you opportunity to talk about the art with the child and to reference it and have children talk about their art. And um, other, there's a lot of opportunity to, for um, provider child interactions. One way, uh, one example of art display is a dowel rod art display. This is an easy way to do um, and inexpensive to display children's art. And you don't have to use tape or staples, which many places you're not allowed to put that on the wall. So this is a great way to do it. What you'll need is a wooden dowel, black command hooks, black curtain clips, a laser level, painter's tape, pencil, and a ruler. I really like this display. Um, I had one of these in my classroom when I was a teacher. And what I liked about it was the convenience of the convenience of being able to rotate art. The other was not having to worry about the tape. Sometimes, you know, on the wall, when you have the tape, it just, the, the pictures fall down. This was a great way to keep them up. Um, and also, depending on the child, they were able to put the uh, art up themselves. We had one of these at group time where we put a lot of visuals and sometimes art, and we also had one in the art area. We, we found ours at IKEA. I don't know if they still have it, but a very similar thing they have at IKEA. I find this, yeah, this one is, I like this one a lot. <laughs> Next is the branch art display. This is using a branch to display the art in a mobile kind of way. And it can be done hanging from the ceiling or on the wall. Um, the things you'll need are branches, string, clips or clothespins, and something to, to secure the branch, either like a rope onto the ceiling. One of the great benefits about this one is it gives, it provides a way, an opportunity for children to see art in a uh, 3D way. You can see all around it. Also, if you have young children, um, and if you have kids you carry around like baby, you know, if you have babies or infants or even toddlers um, at times, it's a great way to, um, you, because it's, if it's at an adult level, you can hold the baby and talk about the, um, the art and talk about the colors and um, anything, like just things you notice, which is really interesting. And then also it brings nature into the classroom. Next is the recycled box art display. Using delivery boxes from Amazon or other places, you stack them, glue them, and have a multi-dimensional art display. Um, this is awesome because kids can walk around it. Um, I love that it's outside. Um, also, if you notice, they mounted it on just black paper behind the um the piece of art and it really stands out um, it's very intentional um, 
Very intentional. Hoop art display. This, you, this is a creative way to display art that can accommodate many children's art depending on the size of the art project. So you need a embroidery hoop, clothespins, wasabi tape, a glue gun, scissors, and pencil. It's a great way to show um, to have many pieces at once. So if you don't have a lot of you don't have a lot of space, it's a great way to display it. Here's an idea from McKenna Childcare in Pierce County. They bought a pack of acrylic wall frames from Amazon and attached them to the back of each toy shelf. This way, it is at the children's eye level and it is safe from children ripping the paper or having it come off of the wall. Here are a few ideas from one of our family child care providers, Paulina. I can tell from these photos that the children regularly switch out their artwork on the walls. Here are a couple ideas from Kids Zone in Pierce County. Children feel a sense of community and belonging and pride when they see their art on the walls. We hope this tidbit has inspired you to create or add to your childcare art displays.